the National Association of Colored Women, whose name changed to the National Association of Colored Women's Clubs in the year 1914, was founded in Washington, D.C. in the year 1896. The organization was founded by some of the most renowned activists and educators known to history. People such as Harriet Tubman, Francis E.W. Harper, Josephine Ruffin, Margaret Murray Washington, Ida B. Wells, and Mary Church Terrell, who was known as the first president of the organization. The National Association of Colored Women's Clubs adopted the motto, Lifting as We Climb, and their mission was to improve the lives of impoverished African Americans. The club has achieved many things, one of the most significant ones being that it was the primary organization for black women's voices and opinions to be heard. They also worked against segregated public transportation and worked towards supplying scholarships to college-bound African-American women. They also worked towards splitting African-American students up in the classrooms for improved learning. They tried supplying food for poor African-American families as well. The club was able to expand to around 300 clubs across the country. Some stationed in states such as Michigan, California, Indiana, Alabama, and South Carolina. This club focused a lot of time and energy and worked to the best of their ability to increase the opportunities allotted for African American women and their families. So many possibilities and they were able to give a big voice to many of the African American women during their time. One of the most interesting facts about this group was how much it had expanded over the years. Their contribution has had a positive and significant impact on history and continue to have positive impacts today.